flights have been suspended at Luton Airport till at least three o'clock this afternoon after a huge fire caused one of its multi-storey car parks to collapse. Five people have been taken to hospital after breathing in smoke. Greg McKenzie has been there through the night for BBC Breakfast and joins us now. Morning, Greg. The fire service have given an update, I believe. They have indeed. Good morning. Now, just behind me is what's left of the the collapsed car park, still in structure, still intact, uh, albeit two, three of the floors have collapsed on one another. And behind us is a, a mangled mesh of metal and cars. Now, it's believed there was 1,200 cars inside that car park when the fire took place at about 10 to 9 last night. And uh, ultimately, the fire chief, Andy Hopkinson, has told BBC Breakfast that uh, they are investigating and uh, say that they believe it was one car that started the fire, an accidental fire. That's what they're now investigating. And here he is. The cause of the fire, um, we have uh, obviously it's still a very early stage, but we've got no uh, intelligence to suggest it was anything other than a, a, an accidental fire that started in one of the vehicles that had arrived uh, very, you know, uh, uh, around the time that, that you know, the, the, the incident was reported to us. Now, the airport will remain closed until at least 3 p.m. It could be later. Now, the safety advice, really, and the reason why the airport was closed in the first place is because the car park is here and to our left is where the planes are. So it was a safety precaution as to why the airport had to remain closed because had the speed of the wind changed or the direction, it could have gone further over to the airport site. And that's why the airport remains closed until 3 o'clock. Greg McKenzie, thanks very much indeed.